this receiving core look this year? Well, you got you know you got Quinshad back, who had a, a really good year for us last year, and, and Quinshad uh, had a great summer. You can tell he's in shape. He's He's uh, so athletic and, and uh, has such great body control in the air. He can go up and get the ball, you know, and he's got a lot of length to him. You know, then I tell you what, Tapley's, uh, you can see where Tapley, we moved Tapley to the outside, and it's, uh, that's benefited him. He's, he's really coming on and doing some great things. Uh, inside, you know, we're, we're working with uh, uh, Singleton is working inside. You got uh, Switzer working inside. You got... Uh, you know, we're, we're starting to build up just a hair bit of depth, you know, with the position. I hate, I hate to say it, but uh, it looks like some of these young guys are, are getting some good reps and, and are helping right now. Outside of the defense, just knowing the playbook better, what gives you hope that they can be overall better than they were, given the fact that they lose Sly and Kevin? I'd say a lot of it is just the, uh, you know, the de development that Coach Hernandez has, has provided for these guys in, in, a, in a full year now. You know, they've been a full year in the system with our strength and conditioning staff. And they're all, you know, bigger, they're all faster, and they're all stronger. And so, you know, that, and you add on to knowing the system now, you know, you just, you can't help but expect us to be better. We talked to Ebron about his 12 TD catches he's supposed to get this year. He got a big smile on his face. Good. <laughs> is that, is that, that's expected? That's what I expect from him, you know, and I hope he expects it from himself because that's, I mean, I mean, he don't have to give any more than 12, but he's got to get 12 for me. You know, what he does beyond that's for him, but he's got to get 12 for me. You know, there's no reason with his talent that, that you know, he can't produce more than what he did last year for us, and, and that's critical. You know, I, 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 you know, you try to take his game to another level. It's not about just catches. It's not about just blocking at the point of, you know, attack. It's about, hey, when I get the ball in my hands, you know, I want you to get the ball in the end zone. I don't want you just to pick up the first down. I want you to get the ball in the end zone. So it's just, you know, it's a, it's a way of talking to guys about, you know, with, like with Quinshot. I don't know how many times broke it down when Quinshot got tackled inside the five-yard line. Well, I mean, you want to take your game to another level, let's, let's get the ball in the end zone. Don't be denied. You know, those running backs loved it. I mean, they loved it. You know, hey, Quinshot, thank you. We appreciate it because they hand the ball to one of them and they get to go score. You know, so, uh, you know, it's just each kid, what, what can I find to motivate that kid to get him to push his, his game to the next level? That's one thing with Ebron. You know, you didn't get in the end zone as many times as you ought to. Uh, the, the type of player you are, let's, let's go. Let's don't underachieve, let's overachieve. With, with, with Shad, in terms of his personality, he clearly started to come out of his shell with us at least at the end of the last year and coming into camp this year. Was he like that a year ago at this time? Was that a process with him? No, he, you know, you never doubt his confidence. I mean, he's always been a confident kid. But I tell you what you what you do see is, uh, you know, you tell one shot, hey, to, 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 to move your game to another level, you got to get stronger. Well, you, you see him at the end of the summer, and his, his numbers in the weight room uh, are much improved. You know, his body's changing. You know, he's proud of that, you know, I mean, because he's worked hard. And so... Uh, he's not that skinny, bird-chested kid when he came into camp, you know, or came, uh, like, you know, the summer before. And so, you know, he's taking some pride in that. And so, you know, he is still that very eager football player that when you talk to him, his eyes kind of get big and he's listening and absorbing everything you say. And then the great thing about one shot is he has, su he has such great football set. You know, so you can tell him something. And he can understand what you're telling him. And he can, you can see it on his next rep. You can see him make it work that way. And uh, that, that, you know, not everybody can do that. Some guys, you got to rep them, rep them, rep them, rep them, rep them, rep them, rep them before they kind of figure it out. One shot, you can point it out, he can make that transition immediately. Coach, you got a big opening game this year. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I think it's a, a tremendous opportunity that's been provided to us that, that uh, we get to open up on uh, national TV, uh, on uh, what is that, the 29th of, of this month and, and uh, against a great football team, you know? And so, I mean, it's a, what, a, what, a, what an opportunity for our football team, you know, to showcase who we really are, who the 2013 Tar Heels are. And it gives us, you know, for me, it's, a, it's a kind of a measuring stick of where we are in, in year two of the program. Intangibly, what can a game like that do for your program in terms of exposure, recruiting, yeah, I, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to quantify it, actually. I mean, yeah, is that, really, that work there? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs>
Uh, my English teacher would be proud. Uh, you know, I, I really don't, uh, I don't know how you measure it, really. I, I can tell you this, that, that if there will be, uh, it, you know, I mean, you all know. Have any of y'all seen Jadavion Clowney said on TV? Anybody? No? It's like every hour, right, since that game. So everybody in the country has seen it. So, you know, 99% of the people out there in the world are going to turn that TV on that night to see number seven, see what he does to number two. You know, and so, uh, you know, but that's a great thing for us. I mean, you know, when they turn that TV on, they're going to see the Carolina Blue also. And so I think it's just a great way, uh, you know, a, a window to our university to, to show who we are and what the Tar Heels are all about.